<laughs> Welcome to Subliminal, an indie horror game I found. Well, let's just get into it. Press any key to continue. Okay. I awake in a room. A chill bites to my bones. I don't remember anything. A fireplace is before me. It brings comfort, but not warmth. Perhaps I should stay. Hold space to close your eyes. You are constantly freezing. Find notes to burn at the fireplace. Why do I close my eyes, though? Huh. You picked up a note. I can't read it. The walls themselves. If you're trapped here like me, let me give you some advice. Find notes like this and the walls themselves move and change. Maybe if I manage to find enough, I can get out of this godforsaken place. I'm leaving some around so that others can find a way out too. Please let someone know I'm trapped. Also, make sure you burn this. The damn fireplace doesn't warm you up at all unless you burn one of these notes. You feel yourself become warmer. Is like blinking is what changes the map, I guess? Interesting. I'm not sure what will be considered cold or too cold, or if we can even die from being too cold, but... Embrace the dark. Take the leap of faith. Close your eyes. Let the darkness in. That which becomes closed to you is banished in the dark. So what if I walk in here? Hmm. I thought I was going to go through the wall or something. I'm just walking in the wall. Like, even if I move against the wall, we still make footsteps, so there won't be an indication of... Um... I am mentally exhausted. I don't know how long I'll last. I run as far as I possibly can to escape from my past. I scream in, exasper in exasperation as I begin to find the paths with no obstacles lead me nowhere in my mind. Turning back, there is a door that was never there before. it up. Pick it the fuck up. No, it's bugged. Don't tell me I'm stuck now. Wait, what? No, oh, okay. Well, I can't pick up the note for whatever dumbass reason. Hopefully, uh, oh, wait, what? Let me pick up the fucking no. Wait, what? All right, well now I picked up that one instead. I want more notes. Wait, what? I'm taller now? Well, that's not right. I became big. What? I became tall. Oh, God. Oh, we're getting cold, too. We gotta get out of here. Uh-oh. Come on. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. This uh, uh, back, 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 back. No! I don't want to go back here. God damn, I think I'm dead. How does that I teleport? This way. Come on. How do I return? 
Oh no. Don't close your fucking eyes, god. God damn it. I didn't know how to fucking return. And I couldn't pick up that one note, which also doesn't help. I'll try again, though. I have to experiment how to return before I go back there. Okay, so we go to this place. How do I return? By closing my eyes, it doesn't return. And now it's gone. Now we're stuck here. We gotta figure out how to return. Hmm. Like that, going into the boxed room... God, this is trippy. Going in there leads us back out. So... We have to find out... How to return. Unless, it's like, I don't return, unless I... Oh, wait! Oh, there's a door! Door, 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 door. It won't budge. Are you kidding me? Ah! Wait. Let me in. Are you kidding me? That's... And then I can't pick up that one, too. Fucking hell. Alright, well, we found out how to get back, then. We need all the notes, presumably. But some of these notes I just can't fucking grab. I might need to figure out if I, um... Yep, and I'm dead again. Let me check the fucking website. Has it been updated? Okay, if I pick up multiple notes, I want to know what happens. Embrace the dark, and then exhausted. I have to figure out... Because we're clearly not going back. Might have to collect all notes before we can go back. The problem is this. No one else in the game store page mentioned there being a problem in terms of... In terms of uh, notes not being able to be picked up. Oh, wait, no, no burn. Oh, oh. I couldn't read that one, but maybe you guys stop the screen. You can. But I almost died there. Sounds in my head. If I close my eyes, things is it in my imagination, or is there something in the darkness? Watching, listening, following. Maybe if I keep my eyes closed, it won't get me. Maybe if I stop breathing, it will not hear me. I expected to know where I'd be going, I thought once I'm there I'd figure it out and it will all fall into place. Instead I am lost as when I started. Is it my fault? Have I done something wrong? Made a wrong turn? It's so lonely. Cat. Is there still that... Okay. Darkness blocks my path. I can't walk forward anymore. Panic flows into my mind. Like the tide upon the shore. But put my head in my hands and grab myself again. Count to three. Be sure to breathe. And tell myself it's not the end. Close my eyes and then I'll find. I can navigate the darkness in my mind, but I must keep my ears open. Suddenly I feel a sudden sensation. It feels warmer somehow. Maybe I'm close to an exit. It's almost warm enough for my fingers to turn pink again. My teeth stop from chattering almost. The problem was... Well, that feels like it would be death if we went that way. Okay, leap of faith, then. I was expecting that. Yeah, I didn't expect the whole... Darn! I was expecting as soon as I heard footsteps, because when it's invisible noise, my feet don't make noise over the chasm. I wasn't expecting the... jump scare noise? I don't know, man. I still don't know about the note on the fucking floor I couldn't pick up. What was the point of that? This isn't real, is it? No. Fuck, well, now we're in a maze again. It won't but Why? That's the thing I at least hate. It won't budge. I'll we'll take that. I have to get, like, a certain amount of notes before the door becomes... There we go. I was wondering what originally made it, so it's like, the original maze or hallway, the door wouldn't budge and I couldn't leave, and then the problem was uh, remembering how to... There's the two rooms, or three, I think. 
the one with the, you know, the two stair, the hallway with the two stairs. One of them has no door at the end. The other one is red, or more red-oriented, and the third one has a door, but it won't budge. You have to collect a certain amount of notes, or, um, or the door won't budge. Similar to that, but it was two pages. The final stretch. The darkness I've created weighs me down. I realize that it's been so long since I've felt the warmth, or felt anything at all for that matter. I've avoided the pain, but at what cost? I've forgotten the way it feels when the sun envelops my skin, and forgotten the way it sounds when the wind hits the trees. I protect myself because I've been afraid, but it dawns on me. The only thing I have to fear is fear itself, and it's time... Uh, it's time escaped from its suffering, suffocating grip. Just one last stretch. Run, run, run. There's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere to hide. You can only run and don't look back. Run where? Ahead. Find yourself before it finds you. My body tenses up and I no longer feel alone. The cold overwhelms me as it seeps into my bones. It's almost as if the shadow on the wall is watching my every move. Or could it be? That's not my shadow, it's the darkness that's inside me. It's starting to feel more and more edgy. Need some Linkin Park fucking sound effects or... Or, uh, Linkin Park songs. Oh, oh. Well, I guess we're gonna keep moving. Well then. Letting go. One of the hardest lessons in life is letting go. We try to fight back, but the darkness in our minds so often tries to consume us just before we find the power to be free. Despite that, it is important to remember, no. Dark no darkness lasts forever, and even then, there is still the moon and the stars in the sky. Somewhere above us, I was lost, but now I am found, and I am free. Am I? I guess I am. Okay. Touch. I escaped the hell of my own creation. It is not the end of my struggles. But now I can count on myself as an ally. Above all, that brings me hope. Alright. Well, it was an interesting game, but... The... The note on the floor in the hallway that I couldn't pick up kind of bugs the fuck out of me. I'm just gonna presume it's a... A bug. Because otherwise... Actually, but there's two. There's two notes I can't pick up. One is in the room with the two col the two brick columns and the door in the room. And the other one was in the the hallway when the uh, door to the fireplace room closes off originally. Um, having those two pages inaccessible kind of fucking bugs me. I don't know why no one else in the comment section has mentioned it, because it should be pretty blatant and obvious. Let's see if anyone else mentions it person, one of them complained, saying, When you must close your eyes to cross the gap, I would fall and start descending infinitely. I didn't have a problem with the chasm. It was kind of obvious. And then I heard the footstep, and then I opened my eyes. At the same time, there's also a, a loud, jump scarish noise, sort of to freak you out as if you failed. Anyways, I don't know. But uh, other than the two bugs, I'm presuming by what the developer has said in the comments... They said Brad, our only programmer and lead designer, somehow managed to pull this off in less than 72 hours. I'm not sure if they're saying that he did the programming and designing in 72 hours, but the same would go for like the art that they used. I'm not exactly sure if this game was entirely made in 72 hours or just simply what that one person did in his job only took him 72 hours. Not sure. But either way. Um... Interesting game. Uh, if it if the game was made in 72 hours, then yeah, there'd be bugs because of that, because they didn't or couldn't be thorough, but uh, otherwise, if you could... The notes that you can't read, so you, whatever story or plot you could get out of it, but otherwise, I don't think you're really missing much because the notes became mostly... I guess it's in a... No offense, but it's just emo dribble. It became a objective truth to a... My bones are cold. My life is horrid. My life has no meaning. I am so cold. Won't there be anyone there to hug me? And I, I get the point of the game. It's I, the, the moral of the story is obvious um, from how it ended. The, you know, the, your own worst nightmare and the shadow is yourself. So it's it's a story about uh, insecurity or depression, anxiety, mental illness. Um, Low self-esteem, yada yada. Um, I get it. But we're not missing much by the notes. Because um, there's not much tangible 
there's not much you can really you know learn from it it's not like it's like Slenderman where you, you learn information about the monster because ultimately it's just a person's sort of innermost dialogue or a diary of how they're feeling sort of um, and they're burning their diary basically to try to overcome their past basically if that's 100% it, then eh, understood it either way. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber. Hit the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Rawr.